<laughs> What's up, players? Ed here from Muscle Players in New Jersey. And you're probably all wondering, what the hell is that up to now? Check it out. Just got off of work, and it is freezing here still in New Jersey. Bitches. Hold on, because I'm driving, and I don't want to get hit while I'm driving. And there's the cops hiding in the bushes watching me. All right, so look. So check it out. This is what happens. I'm doing a new review today, and it's going to be... Hold on. And what is it? All right. You all know I'm all about the focus. I'm all about the products that make me feel happy, get me high, make me want to make shit happen. Okay? So... Wait, I don't want to get hit. I'm coming to a stop sign. Today I'm reviewing Shapow! Chaotic Labs Brave Pre Everything. This motherfucker was made for gym, sports, going to work when you hate your job or hate to go to school or want to stay up all night and play some damn games. <laughs> Alright, so I'm headed to the post office now. Hold on one second. Shit. I'm headed to the post office now because I got a phone call the other day, right? My cousin, she calls me. She's like, hey, hey, what's up, man? I'm like, yo, what's up, girl? She's like, you gotta help me lose some of this weight. All right, I'm gonna show you some pictures. She's like, how do I look in this dress? Do I look fat in this dress? I'm like, bitch, it ain't the dress that makes you look fat. It's the fat that makes you look fat. <laughs> She's like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm like, don't worry. I'll hook you up with some good shit. I got all kinds of good shit. So I'm coming to the post office now to ship her out her funky ass package. Hold on one second. Let me park right here. And if you're new to my channel, I do things differently, okay? Because I know people are gonna come to this channel and be like, yo, this mother effer is freaking crazy. That's right. So I'm telling you right now, if you're new to my channel, you're going to like me. You're going to love me, okay? So, <laughs> so just go now, subscribe, and then hit the little bell so that we always notify when I upload a video. But I'm here at the post office now for my cousin. Like I said, I'm trying to help her. She want to lose weight, but, you know, I try telling people most of the time it's mindset and diet. <laughs> they don't want to listen. They want the easy way out. So I'm going to send her some freaking... um. The 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 bad lad, the fit max from Performax that I had sitting in the house, I'm not gonna use because I'm in focus, motherfucking Samsung. The Fit Max product, and I'm gonna send her the other stuff that uh Landon sent me from uh Intel Nutra, his um what is this, lipo hack fat incinerator. So I'm gonna be the nice cousin and send her out these products, alright? But let me get my ass inside, and of course I look like shit because I got a shit shower and shave when I get home. So let me get my ass inside, ship this package to this freaking cousin of mine so I can help her before, because she keeps bothering me every day. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, like, yo, I'm busy as hell, okay, bitch? You gotta wait till I send you out the stuff, and you're getting it free, so stop your bitching and complaining, all right? So I'm gonna get my ass, show about the package, and then from there, I'm gonna go home, get all freshened up, and when you see me, when I come back, I'm gonna be fresh as hell, Jersey fresh style, all right, bitches? So now we're gonna go in with the intro! <laughs> As you can see, I'm not Jersey Fresh. <laughs> now pay attention. So that way you all understand what the hell's going on, all right? The video you saw me getting out of work was actually Tuesday. It is now Wednesday. And I know what you're all thinking. Wait a minute, what the fuck? I was supposed to come home. Check it out. I got itch in my nose. I was supposed to come home and get Jersey Fresh. Yeah, I shaved yesterday, which was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. And what happened was... There's what I'm saying, folks. Shit can happen while you're filming. A lot of things can happen while you're doing YouTube. And everything's not going to go right. So what happened was... <laughs> this is what happened. I came home. I was excited. I was going to get the video done. I was going to start on the review on the Brave. And, and, you know, start everything with the flavor testing and tell you how it worked. Uh, and, uh, okay, so I showered and everything got done. It was around 4.30. I was about to get started. And then all of a sudden, it was... Then 5 p.m., my beast... AKA the wife starts trampling through the door. Bam, 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 with her big ass feet. And she's like, get your shit together. I need you to come. I'm like, oh my freaking God, I got so much shit to do. And she's like, she gives me the freaking puppy dog eyes. She's like, please. And I'm like, fuck, okay, woman, let's go. So we go. By the time we came home, guess what? 8 p.m. at night. And my ass ain't dumb enough to take some shit like this at 8 p.m. at night. But here's the fucking crazy part i work mornings okay so one of the people that does work where i work hits me up and say like yo and man let's switch you know uh shifts tomorrow 
And he's like, I'll work the um the um second, I'll work the morning shift and you work the second shift. And I'm like, damn, man, I could have reviewed this. I could have done so much shit. So what happens is I am home right now. It's about 8.45 in the morning. My ass is up doing this video. And I'm going to proceed with doing the review on the brave right now, folks. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. The ugly curtains in the background. As you can see, they look Spanish as fuck. <laughs> And I did not buy those. <laughs> all right. So I don't know if you all know this. I'm half Puerto Rican. So what happens is my, my wife, sometimes she, she confuses me. I'm like the most un-Spanish Spanish person you'll ever meet, which means I don't go with traditional colors and things that like my, my Spanish family, the women in my family got some crazy ass whacked out colors. My girl's Italian and some fucking God knows what else she is. And she goes in and gets curtains that look like something my family would hang up in our house back in the day when I was a kid. So I think she's more Spanish than I am. All right. So I don't, I don't know if you knew that. And another thing you all probably didn't know is back in my day, shit, back in my country, in Puerto Rico, I don't know if you all know this. I was a professional dancer. All right. I know you're probably like, wait a minute. You were a professional dancer. Yes. Before I left my country for the people who don't know the country that be, you know, was a country and then became a state. Cause I know some people out there like, wait a minute, isn't Puerto Rico a state? Bitches, that shit used to be a country before I came over here. Right. And I was a famous Latino dancer over there. And then what happened was I transferred over here because of all the issues I was having. I was just becoming too famous and I had to get the fuck out of that fucking country. And then what happened was I met my wife and we went from there. Yada, yada, long story short, got the, you know, the kids, the family, the house, la, 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 la. But I'm going to explain to you what m my name over there was called La Chuleta. Okay. And I know for all you gringos right now, <laughs> a lot of people don't know what that means. What does La Chuleta mean? La Chuleta means <laughs> the pork chop. All right. And I'll show you all now what this, what the whole scenario of why I was so famous and how I used to look at the clubs and at the, on the dance floor and everything. And I became so famous in Puerto Rico. Okay. So we'll go from there. Hold on a second. Coming to you live from Puerto Rico, the hottest Puerto Rican dancer to the dance floor. He's the only one known in Puerto Rico to put the heat in your chili. Esa loca. Esa loca. Dale huevo. Dale huevo. Ay, ay. Esa loca. Esa loca. Dale huevo. Uy, uy. Dale huevo. Ah, ah. Call me hot Latino here in Puerto Rico. Oh my God, girl, was that La Chuleta? Ay, Dios mío. He's so hot. And you know what? He is so fucking juicy, okay? Because I just think I sold my panties. Ay, La Chuleta. I love you, Chuleta. Call me, baby. I love you. Please, papi. Ay. So as you can see, that is why I had to leave Puerto Rico. The women started to fucking just flock to me and fly from all over the countries, all over the world to get autographs and get pictures of me, you know, offering me, you know, money and everything. And I just, I mean, it just, I mean, it came by the, the millions to Puerto Rico to visit me and get autographs. And I just couldn't go anywhere without being noticed. But as you all know, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> La Chuleta, huh? You like that one? That, that, La Chuleta means juicy as fuck to me, man. That's the other white me because I'm mixed. <laughs> All right, so, you know, I always got to fuck around, man. I swear, let me get a recording studio with all the outfits and shit. I don't know if people remember, like, John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo, if you watch it, baby, yo. Papi, my other Spanish brother from another mother. Hit me up, baby. We could bring your bat ass back into business with me. Because <laughs> he's been low on the down low. He hasn't been making any movies or any comedy. And, and John Leguizamo, Leguizamo was the creator of, like, the movie The Past. And he had House of Bug in these shows and shit. And also, the Wayne Brothers, yo. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. I'm a little bit colored. You can still call me bitches, man. We'll make some videos. I love the Wayans Brothers. See, all these people are my kind of people. If I had the, the outfits, the recording studio, the cameras, the people to help with the angles and everything. Oh, man. We're going to do some funny shit in the future. That's, my, that's one of my plans. I just want... Laughter is what keeps me alive, all right? So let me get my ass to make this view because I know a lot of people right now like... This motherfucker is crazy. Shut the fuck up and just get to the point and review that mother effing fucking brave. That's all I want to know about. Who the hell is this guy to keep talking like this and doesn't shut the fuck up? It's me, Elma Eddie from Muscle Players. Bitches, get used to it because I do everything fucking differently. <laughs> all right, so let's go get some water and we'll shake a cup for La Chuleta. Come with me, baby. Woo! Da, 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 da. We're going to the refrigerator right now in my house. Look at this. We got white, we got Latinos, we got more white, little porky pig, my nephew. <laughs> then you got me at weddings when I used to be a drunk and get all fucked up and do stupid shit. Look at all this. No, that's why I have to start drinking. All right. Now, hold on. Let me see if I can put these legs down. Hold on. I know you're probably like, wait a minute. Yes, yes. Hold on. Oh, shit. I hate to be doing this, but the legs are too, too fucking long, so I can't get to the refrigerator. I'm showing you all like 
the ceiling and the fucking walls. I got to renovate this whole house. See, I'm not one of those YouTubers yet that got that fancy fucking mansion. I'm working on that shit. <laughs> but I'm grateful for what I have, all right? So, all right, so let's see. Oh, come on, this camera. I'm going to kill it. And this refrigerator door that won't stay open because it doesn't have a remote. We're going to grab some delicious Fiji. All right, that. Oh, look, check it out. I know you're probably all saying, wait a minute, when the fuck did you get a dog? Nah, I didn't get a dog. What happened was they ran out of cat food at the Walmart. So my cat Rocky will eat fucking anything. So we get him this one. He fucking loves it. <laughs> I think he's half dog, that bitch. <laughs> all right, so let me set this camera up. and we're going to go from there. Hold on. Oh, all right. Never mind the mess in my kitchen. It's still, you know me. I'm a guy. I start putting shit out. Got to get ready. Hold on. Let me pause this bitch so that I can sit down and do this taste test. Okay. I'm back and I'm out of wind. Oh, my God. Nothing like getting up at 8.30 in the morning and trying to fucking come up with some crazy shit in your head, but I'm always thinking of crazy shit anyway, so today's video is brought to you and sponsored by probably going to make the millions with this fucking video. Fiji. It says natural artesian water. It says the Fiji Water Foundation. The Fiji Water Foundation was created in 2007 with two goals. First, to support the communities where we lived and work. Second, to preserve Fiji natural beauty since then, blah, 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 blah. It says Earth's finest water. It says it's actually from Fiji. I don't fucking believe it. <laughs> I say this shit was scooped. They have some little guy in the back working at the factory just scooping this shit from the toilet. And he's like, ah, label on, Fiji. <laughs> no, nah, but it is good fucking water, man. This has to be one of the best tasting waters because other waters I test sometimes, I try them. And when I, after I'm done sipping them, I'm like, yo, that shit tastes nasty. You either taste the plastic or you taste the chemical in them. Anyways, let me, let me get to doing this because I know people are going to get mad. And don't forget the secret to the sauce of getting the ladies is the adobo and the sazon. You sprinkle some on when I was that Spanish dancer back in that country. Tracks the ladies like crazy. I'm fucking with you like always. <laughs> all right, so let's go do this, all right? Oh, I still got to jump in the shower again. After I took a shower last night already, I was going to get Jersey Fresh to fucking do this video. And of course not. Didn't happen. Oh, we're going with the Hulk. Oh. I you pour that so fancy like La Chuleta. Bam! All right, let's try this shit. I am now commencing power of the brave. Everything from chaotic labs. Look at this flavor. I don't even know what the fuck to call it. I can't even read it. It's right there. Touch the tip. It says muscadine millipede. God only knows what the hell that means. That's called good luck, bitches. Figure it out. Oh, who else? Oh, good news. Letting you all know. Tim, if you're watching me, baby, I love you. Tim Muriello hit me up. He's sending me the good shit. <laughs> He's sending me some stuff. And I'll review that stuff. Hopefully it's at the post office today, but I'm not going to be able to check it because I got to work that fucking night shift. So I'm not going to get out of work till like 8 or 9 tonight, whatever the hell I got to do. All right. So again, this is a prop blend. So I'm warning you all. I have no clue. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can get a shot. Oh, wait. There we go. Wait. That's it. There's too much lighting. Damn. Screenshot that one. You can't breathe. Screenshot. Screenshot. That's from all my famous dancing. I'm out of breath. All right. So I'm just letting you know. This got like 10 million different things. I'm joking. I'm being sarcastic, but you know what I mean. So don't piss me off, Samsung. I will kick your ass. Oh my God. Come on. You know what it is too, folks? I'm over here trying to hurry up because now it's probably what? For me fucking around, it's probably like Oh my God, it's 9.30 a.m. I'm trying to just, because remember, I'm one of those people I got shit I got to get done before I get to work, so then that way I don't have to do it tonight. And then I got to get this video together, hopefully by tomorrow, so it'll be up for everybody by Thursday. We're going to go with one level scoop, fuck that shit. I don't know what the hell's in this prop blend, bitches. Got to be safe. Uno, dos, tres, vamos que pam! Mmm, the effervescence. Smells like candy. Holy shit. Activated. One, two. Come on, put that lid on tight, because if not, water will fly everywhere. You know what I mean. Hulk. Smash. I will commence flavor test, bitches, for you, everyone on YouTube. I love you. Come here with me. As always, how much I feel like it. Look at those dishes in the background. Well, no, they're clean. There's only the, my boss cup in the sink. Ah, move table. Let's go. Mm. Oh. Woo! Mm. Oh, shit, man. 
Oh, chaotic labs. We got to talk, baby. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Where's my cat? Pussy cat hiding somewhere over there. I think I put too much water. Whew. But who cares? It's perfect in that sense of yum yums. Hold on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I don't know how they did it. Hold on. Keep going. Wow. Mm. My glasses are falling. Hold on. Oh, things we do for fame on YouTube. And I don't get paid from the ad revenue yet. <laughs> I noticed that. You noticed? You haven't seen any ads running across my videos, folks? I think Price Paul's doing that shit now. <laughs> CJ, yo, what's up, baby? TJ, love you, brother. Mm. Now, for Premium Fitness, what's up, play up? We all gotta get together, bitches, and make a video. All right? I, holy shit, let me get this over here before I fucking get all ramped up. Maybe it was the Fiji water. <laughs> all right. Chaotic Labs, I have to give you... On the flavor test, a motherfucking 10 plus. Ding, 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 Why? Yo, this is nothing but sweet tarts. It's um the grape one. The, I don't know if anybody but my, people my age will fucking know sweet tarts are. They're the hard candies that come in a big roll, bitches, all right? And what it was is they were like sweet and sour hard candies that you sucked on. Mm, trying to, you know, let me keep my mouth shut. <laughs> all right, so what I'm trying to say is this one... The millipede, whatever the hell that damn thing is, is fucking delicious. I put about, it says here, what? Eight to 16 ounces of water. Yeah, I put about 16 ounces of water in here, and it was on motherfucking point. Chaotic Labs, I got to give it to you on flavor. Yo, focus, bitch, for my peeps. Look at that. Oh, don't get, look at those eyes. Brave. Everything. Gym. Sports. Work. School. Game. Now we have to go on the motherfucking performance, bitches. Let me zone that in. I look like Ray Charles. All right, so. What was I going to say? Um, <laughs> Fucking losing it. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, wait. I still got to take another shower. So we're going to go on performance with this because I got a lot of shit to do. I got about three hours worth of, uh, let's see. If I start now, it's going to be 9.30. If I shower, shit, shower, shave, get done. It'll be 10.30 with everything. Get Jersey fresh. And then we will go from there because you know that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all this done so then that way I can get to finishing a project I have to finish on the computer for YouTube and some other stuff. And we will go from there on the performance of this baby right now, all right? Let me go get all freshened up and come back and get Jersey Fresh for you all. And we'll keep going from there, all right? To the shower, bitches! Love you! Oh. It is time to get Jersey Fresh! Focus, Samsung. All right, look, check it out. I didn't know this when I ordered Invictus off of Amazon. This was my baby, all right? This is the Aqua. This is the one I loved. And by mistake, when I ordered the next time, I didn't know this shit. They sent me this one. I don't know if this is an imposter or what, but <laughs> it, it's a different one and it didn't have Aqua. But you know what? It still smells fucking good as hell. So either way, I'm still going to use it. It's just this was my baby. But you know what? I'm starting to like this one. But I'm just letting you all know. Remember, there are differences when it comes to the Invictus. You got Aqua, then you got another one that just says... Uh, no flavor blends. I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, oh wait, 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 no, I'll actually use you know why because I'm running out of the good one. It still costs the same damn price, and it's a fancy ass mother effing bottle. Get over here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, Ooh, Jersey Fresh, bitch. The only thing's looking is I got a hole in my shirt, but I'm not going to impress the wife or anything. I'm going to work, so I'm just getting dressed because it's freezing outside. So I put a thermal on Ugh, if I could get this done. And this mother effer right here, this thing called Brave, has got me going ding, ding, ding. I feel like Bernie Mac. Just type in Bernie Mac on YouTube. My eyes are like, rear, rear. I'm going fucking bananas. <laughs> I'm going to warn you all. Don't be stupid like what I did. I never take shit on an empty stomach. This morning I woke up, at, what was it, 7 a.m. when my beast woke up and I took a freaking half of a protein bar in my bag 
ate that. Then I tried to lay back down just for a little bit. My eyes closed for a minute and all of a sudden you heard ding dong. It was the mother effing PSENG guy because what they do is my meter is in the house because the house is old as fuck. So they have to go in the basement to check the meter in order to send me a big ass bill every month, which I don't even think they check the meter. I just think he hits a button and says, send the motherfucker a big ass bill. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> Damn you, PSENG. Now I know why my mother used to always say, close the door. What do I look like? The electric company? What do you think? I own PSENG? Now I know exactly what she meant, especially when you got to pay the bill. All right. So what else are I going to say? Shit, I'm, I'm tweaking. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, if you see, again, when do you ever see me? You guys and girls know I take everything in the afternoon. So what happens is this is the, I only, I took this in the morning and I'm used to being one of those people who has a few meals throughout the day. So when I get to my pre-workout around two in the afternoon or three to do a review or a test, I can give a 100% honest review because I have food in my system and I don't get sick from any of these things, hopefully. Once in a bloom when I get sick from certain things that make me freaking want to die. But this shit got me like, oh my God. I'm like, da, 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 da. Da, da. want to do this want to do that want to do a little bit of this want to do a little bit of that it's like oh my god all right so let me keep going all right so what else was i gonna say oh you see i wasn't bullshitting for the people who don't know check it out look what's on my table other stuff i still go through <laughs> look oh i'm gonna have to start selling some of this shit look at this 19 nor you pro hormones are almost all gone look brand new olympus lab 19 nor i still got the killer labs oh oh, oh everybody's favorite Brand new, look at that, wicked, brand new tubs. Man, I got so much shit, I still gotta go through everything. Look at that, oh, I still gotta do the pop solo, man, damn it. Russian bear should be called Russian ass. Be careful if you take that, folks, that's brand new too. I got so many brand new tubs. Look at that, all that, and look. Let me put this camera down, f and cotton. All right, real quick, because this shit got me like, ew, one of the militants. I know I'm showing you the wall. Hold on, don't fucking leave. All right, kick your butt. All right, let me sit down here. So what I'm trying to say is, folks, you know I got so much shit to review, so that way you all know it's not bullshit. I got this plus the closets. I can't even show you. If I go through all the closets with the clothes, I got to hide everything and then the other closets. But yeah, here's a tip, all right? What I've learned a long time ago, because I'm a, I'm a nerd and I study and I like to reach it. Always, here's a tip. Keep a pen and little notepad or paper by the side of your bed. Reason why, you never know when you're going to get a fucking amazing idea. And when you do, you better write it down because you will forget tomorrow. Look at all my little notes. Look at this shit. I got books, I got notes everywhere, look at that shit, everywhere notes, notes up there, notes everywhere, notes underneath here, the reason why, I tell everybody write shit down, well no I took a shower, it's not in my hand, but I tell everybody write everything down, the reason why is because of that, if you don't write it down, you're not going to remember, that's why they tell you, if you don't plan, you are planning to fail, it's just like with me, I'm going to be honest folks, it, any type of training, even I know, like me, like right now, because I haven't been training that much, it all starts in the mother effing kitchen. It's the fucking food, man. I'm going to be honest with you folks. It's 80%. The food is the, the key. And people always think it's the mindset of, oh, I got to get to the gym. I got to do this. Yeah, you got to get a training journal and all these things. But damn, it's that motherfucking meal prep has to be on point. And that's where I got to get my mindset back to. Meal prepping like a chef. <laughs> all right. Because if not, look, I'm going to show you this. I've shown this a few times in other videos. I'm going to tell you again. Look, right there, if it focuses. What does it say right there? Read it. Come on, bitches. Read it with me. Look. What does it say? Good, what, I can't even see from that side, <laughs> right there, good habits are the key to all success, <laughs> and it's true, I had to kill off certain bad habits in order for me to get to start doing the good habits, because if I didn't kill off the bad habits, I wouldn't be reading, I wouldn't be making this YouTube video, I wouldn't be doing shit, so folks, that's another thing you need to learn, get to killing those bad habits, I'm telling you, they are the worst things that will slow you down, whether it's the smoking, the drinking, the bad eating. Don't get me wrong. I eat bad every now and then, but I still put it in moderation where I still try to do good so that I don't always feel like shit so I can keep doing the things that need to be done. Because if you keep eating big, heavy, fatty meals, I'm not, now power lifter might be different, <laughs> but I'm saying people like, like, like us or whatever, if we keep eating bad meals, what they do is they weigh you down. You ever notice that? People always go on Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm so tired. It must be the turkey. No, bitch, it's not the fucking turkey. You know what it is? You ate like a fat fuck. <laughs> That's all it is. It's not the turkey, man. You just ate like a beast. And what happens is that makes you wear down. And so what, guess what happens? Then you sit down on your ass and you do nothing because you you just feel blah. All right. So look, let me go see. I always said I wanted another daughter, you know, like, well, not another daughter. I only got my son. And I'm a starving, man. All I ate was a handful of freaking cashews and um, what the hell was it? Oranges. My baby. My other daughter. She's sleeping.
Where's my baby? Samantha. Sorry to wake you up, but say hi to everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll let you go back to sleep, bitch. Love you. Peace out. <laughs> I always like messing around. She's so damn cute, that damn animal. All right, so what else do I got here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can. I'm going to freaking bust my ass. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. All right. I had no more Fiji water, so damn it. I had to get this nasty ass Poland Springs. It tastes like plastic. Mm. Because you'll start to notice, folks, when you start YouTubing or doing anything, public speaking or any events where you have to talk to people, that's why you see people with a cup of water or a bottle of water next to them. You start getting dry in the throat and coughing. <laughs> All right. Wait, let me get this up here again. It actually looks like a beautiful day. You see that outside? Sunny days. Beautiful, right? But actually, it's fucking freezing. <laughs> it is freezing outside. And then, folks, let me ask you all this. You ever see this? You ever have this happen to you? Check this out. All right. Because this house is old, and I'm, not, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. Granny and grandpa passed away in here, which is my wife's grandparents, they passed away in this house. And every now and then, like, because it's an old house, things crinkle or crackle, but there are times, man, like before I was sitting here, and I know Raymond's not home, you know, and, but I thought my son, you know, my son, he always pops in and out throughout the night and comes home with his friends or whatever, long story short, I know my beast ain't here, she went to work. So I'm sitting here on the sofa before and I hear, like footsteps and shit. And I'm like, Edward? So I go upstairs to my son's room, I'm like, Edward! No fucking answer. So I walk in and I'm like, all right. <laughs> and I look and he's not in the bed, right? Nobody's there. And I'm like, that shit creeps me out. It's like, is grandma and grandpa chilling up here having some good times? <laughs> or who the fuck's living up here? It's like, damn it. That shit just creeps me out every now and then. And then when I check, there's nothing there. And I'm like, yo, it better be the motherfucking house settling. But it, if it's ghost or whatever, yo, if you're in the house and you're watching ghosts, I love you. As long as you're friendly and shit. You're not like fucking um, poltergeist and shit with the TV. Run to the light, Caroline. <laughs> Because I ain't running to that TV like she did in that movie. Fuck that shit. And for all you new generation who's like, who the fuck's Caroline? Type in Poltergeist Caroline in YouTube. And you'll see that bitch getting pulled in by some demon ghost into the TV. All right. So what else do I got to show you? Ooh, that's right. All right. Oh, let me just, I, I got to say, for look, you know, I'm a, I'm a talker. I'm one of those people. I, I, I like, if you're new to my channel, I vlog. I do some fucking supplement reviews. I tell you my life story. I try to get you all to just to get to know who I am. So you know who you're dealing with. The realest motherfucking supplement reviewer on YouTube. No bullshit reviews. That's me. <laughs> That's what I'm known for. So what I want to say is, um, if you're new to my channel, please thumbs up this video. You know, comment below with any of your thoughts and I'll hit you up back. I always try to comment with everyone back and go now and subscribe and hit the little bell. Por favor, please hit the little bell. Because if not, this is how I'm going to feel. If you don't subscribe right now and you don't thumbs up this video, okay? She's going to come up right now, this lady. She reminds me of me. If you don't subscribe and thumbs up this video, this is how I'm going to feel. She's coming up right now, okay? Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. What a great honor address. to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. So what did you think about that, huh? <laughs> You see that lady, man? You do. I know some. Most of you will know who she is, but that lady was one of the um, people at the when they announced who was going to become president, whether it was going to be Hillary or Donald. And when Donald won, that lady bugged out, and she was like, "Ah, I like that and shit." I was dying, man. I'm sorry. That shit's funny. I'm sorry. I'm one of those people. I always try to make the best out of every situation in life, and when things go wrong, I always try to find a way to make it work. And when it's not going right, sometimes I'll just crack up and start laughing, and people are like, "What's wrong?" I'm like. I just got to let this out, man. I just let laughter be the key to making me not snap on anybody or just keep my mental state focused on just happiness. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. But I'm going to keep on going about this with the, uh, the uh, <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm getting going crazy. Chaotic Labs on Brave. It's now getting me to that next stage where it's like you're focusing on this and you're trying to think, okay, I want to get that done. I want to get this done. And it's like, I got so much to do. I only got like two hours left. I'm starving as hell, so I'm going to bring you all with me because I got to go to the post office. I got to see if Tim sent the package, if it's there from Tim Mariello, if his package is there. And then I'm going to go to Qdoba and get something to eat. Number one Mexican grill place. Beats Chipotle, brings, beats that Moe's shit. And what's that other place we went to the other day? Uh, 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 Buka, Hookah, Hookah, whatever the hell it was. That place is garbage. All right, so I'm going to show you the next stage that I'm going into right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this. Well, you know, I'm going I'm to put the timer on. Hold on. This is the next stage I'm going into where it's like, oh my God. I'm like, my eyes are like, 
dilated shit, all right, from this thing, from the chaotic lab stuff, all right, let me, let me do this. It's like now I'm going into creeper status mode, like one of those guys you see at the gym when they're looking at the ladies, it's like, hello, it's me. I've been wondering why you keep staring at me. It's those stretchy pants. I can't resist. <laughs> so that's what's happening. I'm freaking bugging. I'm like, da, 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 da. hey, da, 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 da. hey. Woo. All right, so let me pause this bitch because I got to keep going with something else so that way I can hurry up. Hold on. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Got tons of shit to do, and it's all headed my way. Zippity doo da, zippity ape. All right, let me go through some of this stuff here. Ugh. All right, so I went to everybody's favorite place the other day. All right, don't worry, I'm gonna come up with the review on the break. I know people that got no patience are like, hurry up, shut the hell up, bitch. Kick your ass, you're gonna wait for the review on the brave, okay? As you can see, it's been going pretty good so far. <laughs> went to everybody's favorite place yesterday. Damn, there's no lighting. Oh, Jesus in the back. All right, all right. There we go. What's up? All right. So I went to everybody's favorite place the other day with Chris. We went to Dick's. <laughs> I had to, man. I broke down, man. They had no more of the other hats. So I was like, freak it, man. Like, I'm a hat fiend. Like, look, brand new. This one's brand new, too. Look at that, baby. Oh, shit. It matches what I got on. The silver one. Bam. 20 bucks each, man. Can't go wrong, and I know this motherfucker is gonna get dirty as hell, and I don't want it to, but I'm gonna have to take care. This is gonna be for special events, special occasions, like when I go to play Spanish golf. <laughs> well, back in the day, Spanish golf, man, you just went to go drink. You didn't even fucking play golf. You just got wrecked. <laughs> All right, so now I got me two of these bad boys. Mm. Like I said, they were on sale, man. Twenty bucks a piece for some Nike hats. Oh, when I go to get muscle player hats, they're gonna be shaped. I'm letting you all know. I'm gonna get the. Uh, snapbacks with the wider rim, but me, I'm more of a person who likes the duckbill hats like this because they form fit to my big ass melon head, so it looks better. And I'm gonna get the, the bleh, I can't even speak words. Ha! Get over here! I hurt somebody. I'm gonna get the black hats made like this with the Muscle Players logo on the front and everything. And then on the side, it's gonna say 69, and then the other side is gonna say OG. That's gonna be that one just made just for me. <laughs> That's gonna be special edition made. <laughs> I know people are like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> All right, so listen. I'm gonna show you something. Check it out. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, hold on. Let me let me put that. Let me pause this. Hold on. You there? Okay, come with me. Come on. I'm gonna show you. This is okay. What happens a lot of times I can't meal prep if I'm too busy sometimes. Like sometimes my hours will fall just too much too long or I'm meeting with clients or whatever. Long story short. Let me not fucking bore you with all that. Point being is if I try to eat healthy throughout the day, what I'll do sometimes is I'll go food shopping the night before with things that are already made. Like, look, check it out. Hold on. Come on. It'll be like this. All right. Check it out. I know it gets a little costly, folks. Believe me, when you can make your own meals and it's like half the price and that's the thing. That's why I said by the end of this week, I got to say F everything to everybody and I just got a fucking meal prep for the whole week. Look, I got me some, come on, man. Some salmon right here, right? Look, check it out. Salmon, right? And then I got me some potatoes. Now I'm not gonna eat the whole damn thing of potatoes. Come on, man. Lighting sucks. I need the lighting coming in. There we go. I look fantastic. All right, so look. You see, I got the bananas, I got the oranges right here. Okay, and what the hell did I do? Oh, here we go. And the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> of course, Thin Mints. Yo, let me ask you all this. I, I gotta say something, right? Hold on, I gotta pause this for a second. Hold on, about these, these damn Girl Scout cookies. All right, so I, what I was gonna say, did you ever notice this? I know we all go through this shit, all right? Every freaking weekend when I go food shopping, there is this big old gang members they look like the mafia, I call them. These little, these little Girl Scout girls with their mama. Their moms are hanging out. It looks like a big mafia crowd. And they're selling cookies and shit. And every time I see them when I get out of my car, I'm like, damn it, I got no cash on me. I got to get some cash. They're going to jump me and shit. So, right? So, I start walking in, right? And all of a sudden, this is the scenario what happens. When I walk up, I see them. They're all staring at me. They're like, oh, shit, here comes a prospect. And I'm walking up with my carriage and shit. And I'm like, oh, no, they're going to get me. And But what happens is I stop, right? And then all of a sudden... The mom comes up to me like this. So, you want to buy some cookies? Huh? You should buy some cookies. They're tasty. You should try them. And I'm like, yo, no, no, no. You got me last week. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need no more. I got peanut butter cup. I got twisted mints. I got fucking uh, 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 chocolate Hershey squirts. I got them all. All right? And then they're like... 
I think you should buy some cookies. Or else, you don't want to get me upset. Get some cookies. Just get some cookies right now, okay? And then I'm like being all nice and shit. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Just give me one box, all right? I'll take one box. And then all of a sudden this shit happens. Seriously? One box? Come on. Come on. One box? What's, what's that going to do, huh? You ain't even gonna, your wife ain't going to be happy with one box of peanut butter cookies, huh? All right? Let me tell you something. You're going to need more than one box, all right? Let me tell you that. Stop being so effing Jewish, all right? Get your ass to getting more than one box and help these Girl Scouts out, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Help yourself to maybe about 100, okay? And they always get me. And then I'm like, you know what? Fine. Fuck it. Give me like 100. I take all these boxes and I bring them home. My bee sees them. Then her ass gets bigger. And I'm like, damn, I got suckered again. <laughs> And if you're Jewish, don't take no offense. I crack a lot of jokes. And I'm partial Jewish if it makes it any even better for anybody out there who's like, oh, he's cracking jokes. That's what common com comedians do, man. If you ever watch comedians, they all crack on each other. And my family, I got Jews. I got blacks. I got whites. I got Italians. I got Spanish. I don't think, wait, do we got Indian yet? I think, yep, we got one Indian. And I don't think we got the Chinese yet in my family. I think we do. I don't know. I got to check on my, my family history because, man, my, the girls in my family sleep with everybody. <laughs> I'm fucking with you girls now. I know they're watching my channel. They're like, we're going to kick your ass. We're gonna say, I'm joking. I love you all. My, my aunties and my cousins. I'm just fucking around. It's YouTube. <laughs> all right. So that's what happens when I go shopping for these damn things that get me every week with the cookies. All right. So now we're going to go with this. Hold on one second. Hold on. This video is going to be extra mother effing long. Come on. Thumbs up this video right now for being extra mother effing long. Again. You there? Okay. Come on. Let's go. All right. I got this, believe it or not, this glass Tupperware. So folks, I'm going to be honest. Listen to me. If you can carry glass... Carry glass Tupperwares with you. It is a known fact that when you put your food in the plastic um, food containers and you put it in the microwave and you nuke it, that BPA, which is called, well, not everything has BPA, but it doesn't matter. The plastic lets off some kind of chemical, like when you're cooking it in the microwave and it seeps onto your food and God only knows what the hell that's doing to your body. Bad enough, I hate putting my food in the microwave, fucking nuking it with lightning bolts and shit. Who knows what that does to us? But to make it a little bit safer, I'm not, I know not everybody's going to do it. And I'm not saying you should, everybody's going to do this. I'm just giving you a tip. I try to put everything in the glass containers. And I got this one on sale, I think, for, uh, how much? Uh, seven bucks. Couldn't beat it. Most glass containers are more expensive. <clears throat> for good luck. All right, and then I take it a fishy. Look at this. Check this shit out. Bam! In your face. Pow, pow! Then I take the lemons they gave me. Poof! Poof! Oh, no. Not like that. Like, no. No, eat that. And I don't eat this shit right here. Horseradish. Beat it! No me gusta! Then I take a little bit of the potatoes, okay? I go like this. Boom, bam. About that much. Wait, one. Oh, wait. About this size. Come on. That's good. That's good. Huh? One extra one. Why not? Bam! Then I get one can of vegetables. So now, check it out. I got my protein, which is the fish. This is blackened salmon. And this right here is your cars, which is the baked. I think these are the baked uh, scallion potatoes or whatever. Uh, whatever the hell potatoes. So this is the protein, the carbs. And my vegetable. I'm going to be honest. If you can do frozen vegetables, go with frozen vegetables too. The reason why, God only knows. what you got a product sitting in a fucking can for years. It makes you wonder what the hell kind of chemicals in it. They say, oh, with natural sea salt. My ass. There is something in here that keeps this shit fresh for years. And that chemical, God only knows what it does to the vegetable, which is probably just robs the nutrients from the from the vegetables. So, But we found that uh, frozen vegetables is still, for some reason, from them being, um, what do you call it? While they're being processed, they're frozen right away, which in turn seals more in of those nutrients into the vegetables. This, I bet you got nothing, no value at all, but I just added it to make me feel good. <laughs> all right, and what else was I gonna say? All right, let me do this, cause I gotta get to the post office. I gotta get to Qdoba. I'm fucking bugging out. I'm starving, all right? And like I was telling you folks, learn to just keep an open mind and keep you know getting your knowledge up. Well, not, you know what it is? Let me tell you this. It's knowledge of the mind, like, um, just strengthening it and getting it ready to deal with shit in life that can, you know, just break you down. You got to get mental toughness. And I'm going to tell you, here's a book. Go get this motherfucker right here. Who read this and comment below? I still haven't read it yet, but I read so many books. This is the next one on my list. Da, 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 Come on. What is that? Get over there. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck <laughs> by Mark Manson. Anybody read this book? Comment below. This is my next one on my list. So what I'm trying to tell people is always be open to keeping your mind open to being optimistic, to learning more, to grow more. Because when you're idle, you're dying. 
if you're doing shit where you keep doing things and keep doing things, you feel more alive and you keep going. That's why I know I got to get my, my, um, my diet, my, well, my diet, my nutrition back on point and back to getting into the gym because we know my back, everybody knows my back was effing with me, yada, yada, long story short. And that's what prevented me from going to the gym. And I got into like a little, like not depression, more like a slump. The mojo disappeared for a little bit. And, and then what you do is you, you yeah, you're going to fall and get your ass back up and just keep grinding, keep grinding, hustling, grinding, hustling. Let me shut the fuck up because this video is like probably going to be like an hour long. Let's all go to see if Tim's package is at the post office. Let's go, baby. Hello there, you sexy effers, you. Did anybody tell you you're looking mighty fresh and fly today? If not, I think you're all sexy as hell, bitches. That's the one thing I learned in this world. I'm one of those people, I build people up. I raise their self-esteem. That's why I don't hang around with negative people. <laughs> I can't stand negative people. All right, I gotta go over here and hide because now I see somebody that's gonna see me and he's not gonna shut the fuck up. So, bye-bye. I love you. I see you. <laughs> and I gotta hide because what happens is, uh, I'm trying to finish. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can go over here and hide. Because what happens is, I just got out of the post office, and you gotta see this lady that works at my post office. She is a fucking trip. She don't give a shit if there's 10 people waiting in the, in the damn place. Because what happens is, she's the only one that works there. So, right, so I went in with my key, and I walked in my P.O. box, and I got a little P.O. box about this big. So picture this shit, right? So what happens when you walk in the post office, you have the front entrance, and she's usually right there. If she's not there, she's hiding in the back from everybody. She don't wanna be bothered. She hates big work, period. <laughs> so picture this. I open up the freaking latch. I see I got a package, the little yellow stuff, and I'm like, and I see her, and she sees me, and she's got a bologna sandwich in her in her mouth, and she's, and I'm like, hello. <laughs> she looks at me, she waves. She still didn't come to the front to help everybody right away. She's everybody's like, where is she on lunch? I'm like, damn, everybody knows her fucking patterns already. She just hides in the back. She put came up to the front. She's like, uh, what's your PO box number? <laughs> oh, you gotta love people like that. Bam! What's up? Package came in from my boy Tim. Mariello, bitches, all right? So let's open this motherfucker. Tim, I love you, man. Tim, you gotta fly down, please, so we could do video in the dungeon, bitch. What the hell? Oh, it says fragile. Oh. I ain't trying to hurry up because, man, I gotta get food. I'm living off of peanuts, a handful of peanuts, and what else? I don't remember what I said, what else? Handful of peanuts, come on, open, bitch. A handful of peanuts. Oh my God, what else did I have? Oh, and an orange. Hey, all right, now Tim wants me to review certain products. All right, but well, he has a few. Oh, I gotta give this to the beast. Here we go. Eww, get that bitch all cracked out in the morning. Spasmatic ground high caffeine coffee to make my woman crazy like I am right now with this product I just took from Chaotic Labs. So I told Timmy, I was like, yo, bro, send me whatever. I'll, re I'll review it. And I know, but what's this? Oh, you hear the poppies? Oh, yeah. Oh, Tim, love you long time. Hold on. Oh, bite you, bitch, get off. Tim Mariello's Grow Pronto. I heard this was delicious. Strawberry frozen fruit ball. <laughs> Tim, don't worry, baby. I'm going to do the reviews. I'm going to have to have um, a Beast help me with this, and we'll have a cup probably on Saturday so we get fucking whacked out of our minds on some spasmodic. High octane caffeine, and then I'm gonna test this baby out. The, the Grow Pronto, which is his branch chain amino acids. Yo, check it out. Listen, a lot of people have been asking me to test out his CBD oil, um, gummy chill grow worms or whatever they are, which your post workout you take them after you don't work it out. But he is out of stock. That shit sold out like this. What you mention anything CBD oil, whatever, something like that. And plus, he has a different marketing, uh, what do you say, technique, which is unique. He was one of the first to create the chill and grow product, which is the, the gummy worms. and sold like this once people heard that shit they're like oh my god i gotta get me some cbd oil. all right let me get my ass to go get some food and we'll go from there tim Mwah! thank you again brother let me get some food before i snap on somebody i'm starving told you holy christmas listen to that wind oh damn oh tell me they're open please god you can hear the wind all right so listen up it is spring break here at Rutgers campus and there are no children around. I freaking love it because I got the whole world in my hands. There's nobody around. Oh, uh, tell me Kidoba's closed because of spring break. But I'm going to Kidoba. If they're open, I'm going to get some food. But either way, I'm still going to get food whether they're closed or not. And I'm going to go back home. We're going to go from there. All right. Peace out, bitches. Okay, I'm back and I'm looking at my phone. I use up so much damn time on this phone. There's only six minutes left of storage for video on this phone. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Hold on one second. All right. 
went to Qdoba. We're gonna make this quick because I gotta eat. I got half an hour. It is now, what, 120? Yeah, it's 125. I gotta be at work by two. Jesus H. Christmas. All right, so let's just get through with this review and let me just show you what I got too. I was gonna eat the salmon. Remember I showed you the salmon before? Fuck that, I got me another bowl. I got me uh, white rice with chicken for later and then the salmon I'll eat when I get home for dinner. And then, get over there. I got me, come on baby. Whoa, yeah. I got me uh, double white rice, I got me double steak, I got lettuce, uh, pic uh, pico de gallo, and, which is the mild, and I got a uh, little bit of cheese, and that was it. I should have got the beans, I forgot the fucking beans. All right, so, and of course, like always, we cannot forget this delicious baby to go on top, Tabasco. Just probably made you a million dollars too right now. Everybody should be sending me uh, uh, commissions and endorsement, uh, endorsements for these companies. <laughs> yeah, so Tabasco, I put on my damn baby. Cause I don't put any salt on my shit and Tabasco is loaded with salt so Tabasco or Frank's hot sauce I put on that I put that shit on everything bitches all right and again Tim thank you I love you Mwah. Mwah. I do reveal for you uh, hopefully within two weeks because Tim I'm a little busy right now I got a lot of shit okay take it easy I take care of you brother don't worry <laughs> don't forget when you get the new CBD oil Tim the CBD oil um the new stuff Whatever the hell, the chill girl, whatever the hell, chill and grow, whatever product you had that sold out, you gotta get those to me. Everybody keeps asking for a review on that, all right? So, so that way I can eat and get my ass to moving. I got me my banana, my orange, ready to go, my foods. We are gonna go with the Chaotic Labs. Um, brave right now. As you can see, I am <laughs> freaking stoned out of my mind probably from this product. So I gotta give it a 10 plus on flavor because I love sour shit. So I'm letting you all know this was sour. And I used 16 ounces of water. So I'm letting you all know now. I am warning you with the Chaotic Labs Brave. Instead of me taking it all in one shot, I should have done it this way. I'm gonna teach you this tip. Do this instead. Because if you're driving to work, what do you do? You got your coffee, you're sipping on it all the way to work. Or you're going to school or whatever it is you're driving to. If it's gonna take a while. Or if you're studying and you're sitting down. I would say I'm gonna test this next time and I wanna try it this way instead because this was all one big hit to my face and it was like ah, 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 ah. I was like going crazy I was like wow I gotta want to do everything so what I would say is next time I'm gonna put it in the shaker cup with about maybe 18 to 20 ounces of water with some ice shake it up and I'm gonna sip on it the whole time while whatever project is that I'm doing so it'll coast out more safely because this motherfucker hit me hard I started tweaking this shit and shaking but I like it because now it's at a level where I want to keep going I don't think I'm uh, no I think I'll be able to sleep on this one because I took it so damn early but I'm um, all right, 10 on flavor, mm -hmm. and as you can see in this video, I haven't shut the fuck up once, so you know it's working, all right? So, the Chaotic Glass Brave, I'm going to have to give it a 10. The flavor was on point. Yo, Chaotic Glass, when I create my damn pre-workout, you got to give me the secret to the recipe of this sauce, because, damn, this shit tastes good. So, if you like sour shit, go with this flavor. They have other flavors, but I don't know which, which ones they what those are because and that's another thing supplement companies listen to me damn this is what's happening a lot of people hit me up well what flavor the tiger's blood or the the, the dragon's ass mist what does that taste like and I'm, companies you're gonna have i'm being chaotic labs all the all you companies if you're watching me right now you have to give some hint as to what these these things mean in flavor because people go bananas and you're losing sales i'm telling you because most people if they're confused and they don't know what it is they don't know what to order so they won't order right away because they're afraid that flavor they're not going to like so in their mind they think i might not like it i don't know what it is so try to do more of a some kind of a yeah you could put Cor Cordy, yo, brother, listen, I'm just giving you a tip. I'm just telling you from my feedback from what I've learned from other companies and people hitting me up all the time asking. They don't know what the flavor is and they don't know what the hell to do. So what it does is it pushes people away from ordering because they don't know what that flavor equals. So try to put like uh, in the middle, like sour tart, you know, a, a close to like a sour gummy bear. Or something, so people know what they're getting. All right. But that's it. But otherwise, this shit, man, I can't wait to test this again. 20 servings and you're going to get 20% off on their website on all their mother effing the products i gotta tell you oh and they updated the website so folks if you looked at the website last week when i was doing something wasn't looking really good now the website is on mother effing point that shit is hot so go to chaotic labs website's gonna pop up down below use my mother effing code mp20 for 20 percent off everything on chaotic labs website okay and then next week too after i do all these reviews i still gotta test their equalizer Chaotic Labs Equalizer product, which is the Wake the Fuck Up, which is their, um, has test boosters, has all kinds of crazy shit in it. And, and Cordy was telling me, this is like leg day mother effing pre-workout. So I want to test this on a specific leg day workout to see if it's true, because we all need that aggressive, aggressive, crazy energy for leg day. And this might be the what I've been looking for my whole life. Waiting to test you next. But like I said, folks, 
go to chaoticlabs.com. I'm telling you, check out their products. Like I said, it's a prop blend, but who cares? If something works, I don't give a shit if it's prop or whatever the hell it says, but I understand some people don't like that. Price pump, TJ. <laughs> Fucking with you, but no, I understand where people come from, but just, I'm just saying, if something works, I, I usually use it. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna use it because it's prop or this or that. But I understand where people come from. But if that's your choice, then don't use it. But if you want something for focus and, you know, for social anxiety or just getting to work and just feeling good while you're on the way to work or school and just focus, I would say give this bitch a try. Flavor 10, if you like sour shit for this flavor, uh, uh, I'm going to have to give it between an 8.5 and a 9. I'm, I'm really debating because I've got to test it again. But I'm going to say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to give it a 9 on the way I feel right now, which is awesome. And my phone is telling me it's going to go bye-bye right now. All right, so thumbs up this video. Comment below with your feedback. Go get yourself some products from Chaotic Labs and try them out with my discount code MP20. Eddie here from Muscle Plays of New Jersey. And don't forget to go now, subscribe, hit the little bell. And also, I got 20 seconds. Uh, hit me up on uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all those social media websites on the Muscle Plays. Eddie from Muscle Plays of New Jersey. Love you all. Peace out. Woo! Wee!